So what are the different types of anesthesia that are used in different plastic surgery procedures? There are a few types, and these include local anesthesia, local with oral sedation, local with IV sedation, and general anesthesia. So what is local anesthesia? Local anesthesia means that you are totally awake and a local anesthetic is injected into the area being treated. The injection of the local anesthetic usually stings for a few seconds, and then the area that's injected will be numb. Local anesthesia is used generally for things like moles or suturing, and basically small procedures. Local anesthesia with oral sedation. In this case, you are given pills to take, like a Valium or an Ativan, that are supposed to relax you, and in addition, the local anesthetic is injected. When you take a pill, there's no way to know how long it will take to become effective, and there's no way to know how sedated you will feel when the procedure is being done. Now, if you're not sedated enough, giving you more pills once the procedure has started is usually not a good option, since it will take a while for the, med for the medications to have an effect, and you may end up taking too much, which may not become apparent until many hours after the procedure when you may already be home. So, another option is local anesthesia with IV sedation. In this case, an IV is placed into your vein. Medication is then given through your IV directly into your bloodstream, so the medication takes effect fairly quickly. Now, if you need more medication, it can be easily administered. Now, you are breathing on your own for this, but you will usually be sleepy and you may even fall asleep. On the other hand, you may be very awake. So you have to be monitored closely, because if you are given too much medication, you can actually stop breathing. This then becomes an emergency situation, which will require that a breathing tube be placed into your throat. This can be very dangerous. Depending on the depth of the anesthesia that you are given, an anesthesiologist may or may not be required to be present. A procedure done under IV sedation can actually be more dangerous than one done under general anesthesia. So what is general anesthesia? For one, this should only be administered by an anesthesiologist or a certified registered nurse anesthetist, a CRNA, who work under the supervision of an anesthesiologist. In this case, you are completely asleep and do not feel anything. A breathing tube is placed down your throat or through your vocal cords, and your breathing is controlled by the anesthesiologist. Again, it is often actually safer than IV sedation because your airway is controlled and protected, and you can be given as much medication as needed. General anesthesia is usually more expensive because an anesthesiologist has to be present. Now, for larger procedures in plastic surgery like breast augmentations or facelifts, these are usually done under general anesthesia. There are some centers that will try not to use general anesthesia, even if it's indicated, because of the additional cost. As a result, patients may suffer more discomfort than they really should. For example, there is a center here in South Florida that advertises breast augmentations for a very low price. What they don't tell you is that the price in the advertising is only for local anesthesia. There have been reports of patients literally screaming while they were having the procedure. So make sure you ask the right questions and don't be fooled by gimmicks and promotions that sound too good to be true. Make sure you understand what type of anesthesia is going to be given and who is going to be, given, who is going to be giving it. Is it an anesthesiologist? Is it a nurse? It's very important to know. Best of luck to you.